This brief tutorial is intended to illustrate for new users to the Corel Video Studio Pro Ultimate Package which is bundled with the um, Mercalli ProDad uh, Image Stabilizing Plugin. How to get the stabilizing plugin to work the first time. I'm not a power user of Video Studio by any stretch. In fact, I've only been using it about a week. And uh, I specifically, or we specifically, purchased this product bundled with the Mercalli image stabilizer for that feature for projects that we, small projects that we do at work. And uh, it took me a bit of uh, investigation to determine how best to use the image stabilizing plugin, uh, again having no real experience with these kind of products. I did uh, quite a bit of research uh, on the web and reading and there really wasn't um, a lot of clear information in it. I didn't find it terribly intuitive in terms of using the plugin. But again, being a new user, um, that might be part of the reason. Uh, folks that are very familiar with using uh, Video Studio Pro, uh, this might be elementary for you, and that's fine. That you're not the intended uh, audience of this tutorial. Uh, the new users that are trying to use a plugin for the first time are really the folks I intend to reach with this. So, my purpose is to just demonstrate how I got it to work. Now, this may not be. Uh, the best way certainly to use this plugin, or nor the only way, it's the way I found to get it to work. So I set up a very simple tutorial directory here, uh, as one would typically do if they're doing a video, and I have a video clip already imported into the upper right screen. The point of the video clip is not important in this tutorial, it's using the plugin itself, so I'm not going to spend any time uh, in, uh, teaching or demonstrating how to use uh, Video Studio Pro. We're going to focus on the Mercalli plugin. So the first thing we need to do is, of course, is drag the uh, video clip down to the timeline like you see me do here. It's typically how we would, uh, at least how I start projects. At this point now we've got to uh, add the uh, Mercalli product to the video. What you have to do is go to up here where it says FX or the filters and click on that. Uh, the Mercalli plugin is nothing more than another filter. And we have to scroll down a little bit here and we'll find a yellow M as you can see right here. That's the Mercalli plugin. What I'll do is I'll drag that, I'll point and click and drag it down and add it like any other effect right to my current video. You'll now see in the upper left hand corner uh, on top of the preview window, the filter has added some text. Video effect Pro Dad Mercalli. The video analysis must now be must be executed again. Obviously, we haven't executed it yet, which I'll demonstrate in just a moment how to do that. Now, for me, this is where um, I, I had to do a little experimenting and reading to figure out the best way to do this. What I do is move over here to the far right. Um, side of the screen where you see the rectangular blue options box and we're going to click on that and that's going to open up an options window uh, related to the last filter that we dropped on the video which was the Mercalli 2.0 and you can see that's highlighted right here it's the only filter that we have on this video um, clip right now in order to get it to work what I found I need to do is click on customize filter right here right below that box and when you click on that, it's going to open a window which will uh, present some variables that one can uh, uh, adjust that will apply to the Mercalli uh, video stabilizing package. I have not uh, experimented with any of these variables. I've used them as the default only to get the product to work initially. And what I found, if you don't go through opening up uh, this to this window, which is again done by clicking on Customize Filter, the filter won't, will not apply itself to the video clip. Now this might have been an, uh, an intentional step that the designers of the products put in to force uh, the user to at least review the video options or the uh, plug-in options. Uh, that would be my supposition. Um, but nonetheless, you do have to, I found you do have to open this up and then click on OK here at the bottom if you're OK with uh, the defaults, which for this uh, tutorial we will be once I click on OK at the bottom of that particular window, 
the plugin will then start processing the video clip on the timeline and it'll open up a new window and you will actually see it processing uh, with a uh, progress bar which we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate in just a second here. Uh, be aware that it could take a few minutes depending on the size of your video to process it. Uh, this particular video would I don't think take very long because it's quite brief but if you have a fairly lengthy or complicated video it could take some time. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and you'll see uh, the new window and now the st stabilizer, the Mercalli product is applying itself and processing the video that's on the timeline. You can see the progress bar over here on the left side uh, moving along slowly. When it's done it will place the or replace rather in the upper left corner this particular clip with the processed video that uh, again you can uh, preview do whatever you like with at that point but it's in the process of processing right now and when it's done you will have a process video on the timeline this is as far as I've gotten with this product uh, I trust this might be helpful for new users to uh, Video Studio Pro uh, in using attempting to use the Mercalli ProDad version 2.0